Hello friends and antagonists, both minor and major, I'm Essel, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time, we had a bit of an episode with Yuri again. There was some some um, horrifying threats made against Natsuki. Natsuki um, also might have some home problems or some other social issues going on that we were not aware of yet because I didn't talk to her much in the first part of the playthrough. Um, the horror is ramping up, so again, folks, please do make sure that you're taking the content warning seriously because from the from the first episode because we're getting down the, the crazy stuff now. Um, it's so it's a lot. So we're about to speak with Monica alone, and Monica has been is my my I still believe even after Yuri popped up. My, my my first theory was that Monica was the big bad. She's had a lot of weird lines, and she's been in control of fourth wall breaking stuff, and she seems to be running the show. So, like, she, she appeared in front of one of those first glitch panels. So let's, let's see if that's true. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Essel, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. Oh god, we're getting, we're getting static. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and you're being a little bit, you know. Haha. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've spent here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. She said she said she said that a lot in the first playthrough too. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No. Stop. Okay, so Monica is at the center of this but is not in control. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so let's let's this time try to do our half and half again to see how that turns out. One, so we'll go Natsuki, then Yuri. Natsuki. Yuri. Natsuki. Yuri. Natsuki. Yuri. Natsuki. Yuri. Oh. Natsuki. Um, Yuri, Natsuki, Yuri, Natsuki, Yuri, Natsuki, Yuri, oh, um, Natsuki, uh, Yuri, unrequited, I don't know who that is now, um, Natsuki, Yuri. Hi, Essel. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my, my best teeth today. Monica, I told you not to... Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with, with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that, say that like, like I do that on a regular basis or, or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Uh, no, nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll, I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been a feeling, feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I, I just feel like I need to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Baka. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Essel just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, right. I, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and, well, we decided we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel at the club not wanting to change, or not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. 
So as long as we're all working together, the club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> Sorry, the last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about it yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. Sayori. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm going to help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah. Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Essel, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Essel's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, that was the creepy face again. Oh my god. Okay, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Oh no, please- Oh... I actually have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time any, any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Oh, skip. We can skip this. So we, so, so this is the first time we're actually using the skip function. Let's see how it works. Oh. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Okay, I think it showed us the... Okay, um... I think this was the thing about... So we, we saw the, the same knife scene again with her and her arm. Um, except this time, um, we saw it and it sh Monica didn't rewind yet. Wait, how did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu, same. The assassin happened before or anything, right? My head's been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate to think you that it's nice for you to think that I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. Okay, this is bad. But expressing these things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as un inappropriate or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So, I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter the most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time I come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Essel. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since, ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I, I couldn't say anything before because she's, she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. I just want to stay here. Please, no. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. There's Monica. Haha. <laughs> That was a joke. Just a joke. I, I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I, I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. Artisans? I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Essel. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. 
There's no one to, no need for us to get around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would, that we would meet each other. Oh, we can't actually exit out of Monica here. And now we get the happy ending that I wait, we patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Essel? Will half Cupid... Uh, uh, good. 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 Don't freak out on me. Okay, good. Finally. Haha. <laughs> Yuri holds with her poem. My poem to her face and takes, takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Essel, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Oh my god, she's so creepy. Please? Sure, I don't care. Haha. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Essel. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N n not really, but... I, I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give my papers cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ha <laughs> You can have my poem too. <sighs> Besides, after, after you read it, I, I, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Um, I can't see what any of these words are. Devoted, maybe? Um, okay, there's blood. Okay. Hi! Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem's about, uh, glitch words. More importantly, I've endowed it with my sense. So you're not the most awful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. Okay. Okay. It's gonna... Okay. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. I didn't mean to do that. What is it with you two? Huh. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't, you didn't you didn't think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay. I guess I'm gonna share mine with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? And then you can go away. Read it carefully. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I'm worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is getting really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can, can, can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to let try to bring be, try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes later if I have to. Just please try to do something. Okay, as for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. I'm so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. My theory. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh god. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Essel? If you would spend if you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Well, fucking called it. Just Monica. Understandable. Okay, this is our episode time, so I'm going to leave this on a nice cliffhanger. So next time, we're going to find out about Monica's the villain, like I said. So, horrifying. I, lots of chills here, lots of spooks. 
This is good still. I'm excited, feeling good. Um, so hopefully y'all are enjoying the playthrough as much as I am. Uh, next time we're going to find out about Monica. So please consider subscribing if you have not already to make sure you can find the video next time. But until next time, folks, enjoy yourselves, get some rest, and peace out.